morning folks right now we are in the midst of rock beach and i hope you guys know where is no rock beach yes we are in pondicherry uh morning i have arrived at pondicherry and uh, we are in the midst of rock beach and waiting for the sunrise i was expecting the sunrise around in and around uh, 5:50 am but uh it has i felt uh, a bit late i feel uh, for the sunrise has to come but still i'm waiting for the scenic view over here and uh, let's wait for it and uh, today we'll be much exploring the pondicherry side and uh, the view the scenic view and all and uh, that's how we are going to explore and um, i hope you guys will support and uh, encourage this video and this is my first vlog over here and my first solo travel to pondicherry and uh, see you guys in the coming video So I'm um, right now uh, walking towards the uh, mid uh, sides of the beach and uh, waiting for the sunrise still. And uh, I have right now booked a hotel, not a hotel maybe, uh, it's an hostel. So uh, we before arriving over here, I have booked an hostel, and uh, that's somewhat nearby over here, uh, named uh, NS Hostels. And um, uh, my check-in timing will be on 1 a a uh, p.m. So I'm just thinking of what to do uh, over here uh, until 1 a.m. I mean p.m. so that you know I can get busy uh, until then. So just thinking and planning, and uh, still waiting for the sunrise, and uh, uh, that's what my plan until now is. in the morning hours of uh, the Pondicherry over here in Rock Beach and uh, uh, we can see a lot of people walking uh, uh, in the morning with along with their family with their uh, with their relatives with their loved ones and uh, it's all together that we can see over here and uh, right now I am in the Rock Beach still and uh, exploring much kind of you know uh, diversity and uh, cultural diversity we can find out over here and uh, people lot of people lot of crowd and uh, that's what uh, we are uh, seeing right now over here and uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, vintage buildings old uh, renovated buildings that we can find out and uh, that's that's how uh, you know a lot of cafes and uh, the uh, you know uh, trees built over here and uh, that's that's we can that's what we can see all around and uh, i am further thinking of going somewhere uh, right down over here and exploring much more Right now what you're seeing over here is the um, uh, the Mary building and uh, Mary building or, or called as the town hall of the French colonial era in India at that time so this is a very old building uh, which was uh, built 
around 153 years around that time and uh, it even served as an administrative building or a municipal building over here in uh, the uh, French colonial era in India for around uh, 100 years and uh, that's where that's where the time where it uh, had to you know <coughs> like where a registration of marriages happened then uh, all the democratic or uh, all kind of administrative things happened all over here so unfortunately uh, around 2014 due to the monsoon season or the uh, climate changes and all it had to you know uh, completely get destroyed and uh, at that time only it had to you know uh, get reconstructed by 2012 uh, this got really uh, reconstructed and uh, it came into a new uh, white building that you can see right now. hi so right now we are in the uh, uh, in a circle or a square somewhere and uh, we are in the midst of an inspirational uh, place where our freedom fighters um, are tributed over here and we can see wall paintings and much more things that uh, all around so uh, where first thing that I found was the uh, a big statue of uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi uh, in the midst of the beach Drog beach and uh, uh, a beautifully engraved one and uh, that was uh, that's um, I, can, I, I I was like so, so so splendid to see come over here and see that statue and uh, get the inspiration out of it and later we I also saw an uh, tribute wall uh, we can see a tribute wall over here where uh, our freedom fighters were uh, uh, you know uh, thought of and um, it was uh, been kept over here as a tribute to all the freedom fighters that you know fought for our country over here and uh, we could see a lot of names uh, return from different parts of the our country and uh, that's what I could see and the next sculpture was the uh, you know um, our uh, first prime minister of india pandit uh, jawaharlal nehru uh, being kept over here so it it was you know um, very much you know an inspirational uh, place that i can say where you know all of our freedom fighters uh, all of our you know mm, uh, people over here that we can see Yes folks, uh, so right now uh, I'm planning to go for an Indian breakfast somewhere around here. Uh, so when I just found out the maps, I got to uh, know that there's uh, an Indian coffee house nearby. So I thought I will just explore some Indian uh, food like dosa or something, have a few things from there. And later, you know, uh, explore much cafes that is situated over here. And uh, you know, it's all nearby I feel. So let's explore. Now walking towards the town where you know uh, as far I mean like when I saw not even a single shop is open over here I feel around uh, maybe 9 or maybe 10, 10 o'clock all the shops will be functional so this is the uh, uh, city that or the town that we can see in Pondicherry. 
So I have just right now arrived at uh, Indian Coffee House and uh, it's around uh, 7 uh, 40, 40 am and uh, it's pretty you know rushy around here and uh, what we can find over here is uh, most people will be coming uh, after the walk and you know uh, people who chit chat over here after the walk and you know and the taxi drivers uh, or, you know elderly people also we can find out here and uh, I have right now ordered one uh, plate of puri and one chai I thought of ordering uh, one podi uh, doshe and uh, tea and an omelette but podi doshe and uh, omelette will be ready uh, by around 8 a.m. so I just thought you know I'll have some puri and a chai from here and later go in and around in the city to have in the cafe. Just thinking of you know thinking of uh, uh, renting a cycle so that you know I can go around the city and you know explore the views the roads and all so let's move now I have just right now come arrived at a rental biking station so I plan to take a bike over here and uh, you know, go around uh, uh, this place. Uh, I have took, um, you know, I don't know which bike I have rendered, but it looks pretty decent. And uh, I hope that you know I can go around the Pondicherry site along with this bike, and uh, you know, uh, you know, explore. So right now we are in the Immaculate Conceptional Cathedral. Uh, that's uh, near to the, uh, uh, I mean in Pondicherry itself. So this uh, church has a historic um, tradition over here that we can see. Uh, it's actually 300 years old, near to 300 years old this church is and it's a Roman Catholic church that is situated in uh, Pondicherry and uh, this has a lots of history that we can see. So uh, uh, long ago when, uh, you know, when um, Portuguese people when they came oh, sorry not the Portuguese the French people when they came they built a small church and this is the third revised church that we can see over here and uh, we'll be I'll be showing you through this uh, uh, this church inside and outside of all thing that I wanted to say is it's also named as Samba Kovil. Samba Kovil means Kovil means church. So Samba Kovil means St. Paul's Church. So uh, this is also named as Samba Kovil that is St. Paul's Church in Pondicherry. Last few years of Mother Teresa, she also uh, visited this church, and uh, even there's a bishop's house also located here nearby. So it was a really good uh, experience going into the church. I sat there for a few minutes and uh, spent myself contemplating also.
right now it's 5 p.m. over here in Pondicherry. Uh, I am right now in uh, Basi Street. So that's also called as Lal Bahadur Street in uh, Pondicherry. And uh, we'll be right now exploring the, um, the Baker Street. That's a famous bakery, French bakery right here in uh, Pondicherry. And let's go over there and uh, find out different uh, bakery stuffs over there. So right now we are just going to try the uh, authentic uh, egg layers from the Baker Street. Uh, it's been um, I've never tried a French authentic egg layers. So yes, I'm going to try the uh, French authentic egg layers from the Baker Street, and I'll let you know how is it. Sure. <laughs> Mm. Super good. I mean, the chocolatey flavor. I took chocolate flavor, so the chocolate and the bread. Of course, it was so good. The bread is is a different kind of bread that they have filled, and the chocolate filling is all amazing. I really do recommend this. So the second thing that I have bought is a French croissant. So you guys can see over here, it's a French croissant. And uh, yes, I have had many times a French croissant, but not the authentic one. I feel so. This is the authentic one. I think I'm gonna have over here uh, in Pondicherry in uh, Baker Street. So I'm very excited to have this. Let's taste. So they have cut into the uh, pieces. They have made it hot. So it's crispy outside and inside it feels like very buttery and soft. So let's try it out. I'll try the middle part. Mm. Amazing. It's really good. The crispier outside and the buttery taste inside it's amazing i really liked it you have to try this butter croissant and chocolate eclairs So right now I have come to the rock beach and uh, expecting for the uh, sunset but I don't know unexpectedly the sunset was also not there and uh, I have missed both the sunset and the sunrise but it's okay it's I don't mind no problem but you know the feeling that we get after sitting here you know after a long day travel maybe uh, maybe after a long day work all these things if you get just a minute to sit near the beach and contemplate yourself or think about the things that ha has happened in the past think about the future or you know think about yourself leave everything think about yourself 
it's another level. So right now we are uh, going into an ice cream joint. Uh, it's one of the famous ice cream joint that we can find right now over here in Pondicherry. It's uh, called as the Richie Rich, and uh, we'll just now explore on how is the uh, Richie Rich ice cream uh, joint, and uh, let's see how it's gonna taste. Right now we just had got a um, chocolate almond uh, uh, richy rich ice cream so we're just gonna taste it out mm. it's really good I mean I like the taste the almonds the chocolate and all it's all dripping out it's really good you guys must have to try Hey folks, uh, so right now we are in the Kororandl Cafe that's in the Romain Roland Street of uh, White Town. So uh, I'm very much excited to go into this, uh, this cafe because I've heard a lot about it. It might be into the pricey range but the food might be you know in a better side. So let's explore the food in this cafe and uh, let's see. cafe uh, with us so we have three dishes over here and uh, I've got a uh, crispy prawns with me and along with that um, I have also received a Lebanese spicy platter so these are the things that uh, we have got right now and we'll just check out how it is gonna be First I'm going to start with the uh, crispy prawns, along with that we have the uh, mayonnaise along with that, so the sauce is amazing, the sauce has a spicy and a tangy texture and uh, taste and that's what I have found out in this crispy response is amazing so with us we have the Lebanese platter and uh, along with that we have a very large hummus so uh, yes let's try um, I have the Pita bread with me. Uh, pita bread over here is the uh, Arabic bread that we use it with the hummus. So along with the hummus, we will try. Super. The pita bread is also crispy from the outside and fluffy inside and the um, the hummus that we have got over here is you know it has a smooth texture um, with that um, you know little bit of spicy the chili spice is also there that we can see and it's really amazing.
so finally we just got into the end of this day in pondicherry is day one and uh, we explored much of the food over here and uh, <coughs> even the places too and yeah uh, there were some issues at the morning uh, from the morning as uh, today pondicherry was in a power cut and shot down and uh, there was no power in my you know vlogging camera and in my phone too so it was a bit adjusted here and there in my vlogging and you know uh, my mobile too so i'm really happy about this today and even more excited about tomorrow and uh, planning a uh, lots of things for tomorrow for exploration and many foods and many exploration to come so see you guys tomorrow